in this video we're going to focus on how we can filter objects and data objects is slightly more tricky than a standard filtering of an array so for example here you can see here we filter out all the values that is beyond or, or sorry that's below 10 as you can see here, this is basically our data object. And you can see here Wednesday is number nine, but Wednesday is not being shown here. We have Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday because they match the condition. So let's start to explore how we can filter objects accordingly. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to filter data objects and display in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to filter data from a chart in Chart.js. Yeah? So if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Rickson Andre Vergara. So a special thank you to Rickson Andre for asking the question. This is what he asked. Is it possible to filter data if instead of an array, it is an object? So yes, so let's start to look at that because it works slightly different. So the first thing that we're going to do here is let's go to chartjs3.com getting started because we're going to grab the, the default code. And uh, you might notice this here, for some reason my Google Chrome gives this error. But anyway, we're going to grab this code here, copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains the JavaScript of it. So then what I'm going to do here, paste it all in there. Once I did that, I'm going to cut out the title, put the title in here, and then here, save that, refresh, there we are. So now we did that, all right? So we don't have to go there. So what I want to do now, the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the object itself. So the object is basically in here. And this is the tricky part with the object. The object cannot be filtered by default. So from object, basically to filter an object, we go from object to array. Then we filter. And then after filter, we're going to send the array back and then create the object again. So basically, this is the entire process. So after filtering, we go back to our to the array, which is based on the filtered data, and then put in the object. So let's start. So let's give it here constant. I'm going to work here with a value. Let's create an object right now. And what I want to do is our object will be a key value pair based on our labels and data. So I'm going to combine these together. So I'm going to say here, let's say weekdays or weekday, doesn't matter, anything you want to say or weekday sounds more appropriate. And then here, I'm going to put in here curly braces. And then in here, I'm going to grab here Monday. And Monday will be just colon, no string needed because it's now a key. So this is a key value pair. And here will be the value, which would be number 18. And we're going to grab this. So 18 comma, and I'm going to put in four values. That should be more than sufficient. 12, and then we have another one, it's Wednesday. There will be a uh, nine, and finally we have comma, uh, Thursday, six. All right, so now we have all of this. So what we wanna do now is, if you see this one, if I would comment out this and comment out this and just put in here a data, and I say the data will be equal to weekdays, comma, save this, refresh. You can see here now we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and here Thursday is six. To confirm this, let's say here, let's make this 60 or 90, doesn't matter. Save that, refresh, there you are. All right, so you can see it works. So if you wonder why this structure works, charges allow the structure by default, and this is usually used for a floating bar chart. And, and basically what it really is, if you want to understand this, besides the floating bar chart, basically these values here is basically considered as the X and Y. So X would basically be here Monday, and then you have the Y value would be number 18. So it reads it like this, and it allows it like that as well. So this is a option that Charges understands nicely, which before in the older version of Charges doesn't. So Charges 3 has this option to do, and that's why data structure becomes very useful. All right, so now we have this here. What I want to do now is the, how do we filter this? So let's say we want to filter out everything that is below 10 should be not shown. So to do this, we need to work here with basically this process here. We're going to convert it, and then we're going to filter it, and then after we're going to convert it back into its original object. So to do this, we're going to say the following. Object.filter with capital O, and then we say equal. And we can just put in here that these are the parameters, but I will just say here this is the object, which is basically this item here, which contains all the items. 
or all the values here and then we say here object items and this is the key value pair all of these items here later on this will become more important so we say here all of this and then what I want to do here is the following I want to say object dot from entries and what does from entries really mean from entries means convert it back into from object to to or sorry from array into an object so it's that's really the last step so that would mean within here we are going to do the first step and the filtering step so we're going to say the following so that's from entries from entries means converting from array to an object so that would mean here we're going to say here object and then we say it dot entries and this would mean convert it from an object into an array which is step one this is very important and in step one we're going to filter so once we have that we're going to filter it all back so we're going to say here we have the object entries and then we're going to refer to what exactly the object and i'm just using object here as a parameter you can use anything else but in this case the naming convention doesn't matter too much as long as you keep this here because this is just referring to this here later on because it's still a parameter so it waits still for the value to put in or the argument to put in so we're going to have this here object entries once we did this then we can say here because now we did step one now we want to do this part here to filter so we say here dot filter and what are we going to filter is basically the object items whatever object items we have and semicolon so now we're done here but this is still does nothing because we didn't define this yet we didn't define that this is a that, that there will be an object and every object item so that's what we're going to do right now so uh let's see above all right and then in here i'm going to say here constant let's say here filtered filtered date of a weekday days doesn't matter filter weekdays i'm going to say object with capital o make sure you pay attention with object with capital o here there's no capital o because these are uh references to to something it's an argument very important here or sorry parameter these are parameters so we have the object and then we say dot filter and then here now we're going to put in the argument the argument here will be converted into this here and then from and, and then it will read everything so this argument is of course the value here weekdays so make sure you understand the difference between a parameter and an argument the argument consists of the value the parameter is just a definition of it just giving a name from whatever it would be the item in here so we have this object and then what we're going to do here is a parentheses and then here the brackets and then in here we're going to say what I would just say the proper names for those so this here is Monday so let's say here days or day that would be even more better and then here the value it could be anything if this would be a color like blue red green etc etc you could say your color and value so it doesn't matter so much so once we have this then we're going to put in here arrow and then we're going to say what is the condition of the filtering and the condition of the filtering will be the following so we have to see here if we want everything 10 and beyond should be shown so we're going to say here the value is the comparison so we're going to do value and if the value is bigger than nine in that very case i would like to show it if not do not filter it out or sorry if not filter it out in our results so we're going to copy that now do a console log and show this in here save that and refresh and now we have this here all right so this is still your same uh why is that same you might say well because of the data here in the weekdays but let's get here the filtered weekdays if you open up the console log you get here the object and look at this beautiful we get all of this or maybe maybe we can show it even let's see if table works even better there you are so we have the index number or the index in this case is monday and tuesday which is the key value or key and this is the value item so that's basically it so if i'm going to copy this put it in here save that refresh there you are all right so let's add up some other numbers let's say here friday column 10 and then we have a saturday column 9 and then we have a sunday column 
let's say 24. Save that, refresh. There you are. It shows here nicely, but it also shows in here. It filters out the ones that are not matching. And that's basically how you can filter out just these values here. So maybe you say, well, hold on. I also have for dates. I have a separate video for that. You will see the uh, link will pop up. And that will be specifically for dates because dates has some other aspects to consider. And I think it's probably best to have a separate video for that.